Old age typically brings with it health problems, chronic diseases, frailty and loss of independence. As the world population ages, the aging process poses a challenge for healthcare systems in many countries, according to Tamara Chonia, one of the lead scientists at Mayo Clinic's Robert and Darlene Cogot Center on Aging. In the United States, for instance, 80% of healthcare cost is basically related to age-related diseases. And aging is the highest risk factor of a lot of diseases and comorbidities. But Mayo Clinic scientists believe it may be possible to delay age-related diseases by modulating fundamental aging mechanisms. Experiments are underway with mice. So the view in the aging field is why not go for a root cause, which is fundamental aging processes themselves, to try to delay these, um, the onset of these disorders as a group and to increase what we call health span, the period during life when people are independent, free of pain, free of disability, and enjoy life. So the view of the field recently has been, how do we add life to years, not necessarily years to life? It was at Mayo's Center on Aging where senolytic drugs were discovered. Agents that selectively eliminate senescent cells that are responsible for aging processes without damaging healthy ones. Basically, these drugs have a potential to slow aging by killing bad cells which accumulate with aging and cause a range of age and disease-related problems. Human studies are next. Senolytic drugs will be given to people with illnesses directly related to the aging process. We're finding that different combinations of these drugs are effective in different uh, situations. So there's a lot of work to be done in figuring out what the right combinations of these drugs will be for particular human uh, conditions. If senolytic drugs manage to reduce the health impact of aging and have minimal side effects, then scientists plan to gradually move from treating the consequences of aging to preventing it altogether. But there is a hope, maybe, we can get positive results. And if it's true, it might revolutionize medicine. It's, it would be transformative. Until then, several additional studies need to be done to determine the safety and efficacy of these drugs. But so far, the results look promising. Maya Kay for VOA News, Rochester, Minnesota.